So I'm getting my clothes ready for tomorrow's interview. So I kind of want to give you guys this little testimony. Um, and hopefully by the time that you guys watch this vlog, I already got the job. But um, I want to sit down here and just let you guys know how is it that I got my new job. Guys, so you guys know that, um, well, for the ones that follow me on Snapchat, um, know that I've been working with Panera Bread for about three years. And um, I've been working for them, and there's been a lot of things that I've really just got over. And I'm just like, okay, I'm done. I want to get over the fact of me not working here no more. I'm, I want to look for something else. So I would always tell my mom, mom, um, I want to really um, gather with you in prayer so God can really provide a new job for me because I honestly don't want to work here no more. I'm just, I'm so over the drama. I'm so over the fact that some things are not fair here and I don't want to get in detail with that because um, right now as I'm speaking, I still work there. So if I talk bad about that job right now, it will be very, very bad for me. But um, there's just a few things that uh, I just, I, I will talk to you guys later in the future when time flies by. But I really want you guys to know what is it that happened to me because I know that this came from my mom's prayers. This came from my prayers. And most and foremost, it came from God. And um, God is great, guys, all the time to me. And even if I'm rebellious and I am so bad with him, um, he always repays me good. And I want you guys to know that about him, that he's always a gentleman. He's he's always there, um, even in the bad times that you just feel down and you feel like you're failing him. He's always there. He's always, always there. And he... Um, literally impresses me every single day of my life and I just I honestly can't thank him enough but let's get into the story because I'm just rambling right so I was at a delivery um I believe it was um last month in October and there's this nice lady I don't I'm not gonna say names but it's a really pretty big company um I always delivered with her and um you know, um, she can come at you very strongly, but I love her because um, that's how people should be. They should be straightforward with you. And um, I don't know. But um, anyways, um, I went to go deliver a catering order for her because as you guys know, I'm a catering. Well, I was or I am. Well, right now I am a catering coordinator at Panera Bread. And um, I went to go leave her a catering order and she always would ask me, hey, Miriam, so you've been with Panera Bread for a really long time, huh? And I'm just like, yeah, I have um, um, this month, which was October, um, when I was talking to her, I was like, this month I have like I um, have accomplished three years with Panera Bread. So she told me, man, three years, that's a lot of time. And you waking up at four in the morning, that that must be hard. And I was like, well, I'm already used to it. So, I mean, um, you know, it is what it is. So she's like, Miriam, I really like you. I really like your smile. I really like um, how you come forward with customers and, um, you know, how you treat me. I don't know how you treat your other customers, but I'm sure that you treat them nicely. Um, whenever I have a problem, you're there and your customer service is just awesome. And I was wondering if you're looking for another job. In that moment, I was just like, oh, um, sure. Like, what is it that I have to do if I do start applying here? So she told me, I need a secretary. I was shocked, guys. I was so shocked. I was like, is that right? You need a secretary? Yes, I need a secretary. She asked me how much I got paid at Panera Bread. And she told me, she offered me more. And I was just like, am I dreaming? Like, God, what's going on here? Like, 
But you know what, guys? You guys should never, ever question God because God does everything perfectly. So I was just, I was just shook. I was just shocked and shook. And I was just like, oh my God. I literally was like shaking, guys. So I seen her secretary at the moment and I was just like, oh, you know, I, I have a few questions before we go forward with this. Why is it that you need a new secretary when you already have one? Is she leaving? Is she, is she quitting? Did she give you her two week notice or what's going on? And she said, no, Miriam, actually, she's um, we're moving her to the back with the big boss because they promote her. reasons why the girl and um, her secretary was leaving um from the front area as her secretary was because she got promoted to be the big boss's secretary and they were going to start building her own little office like a nice legit office for that lady so she's like we're always promoting here and we give you benefits and um i i you will be perfect for the secretary job so um obviously they wanted to give other people an opportunity but that lady gave me an opportunity because she thought um, she kind of like referred me to her boss because she said that um, she really liked me and um, she was giving a she was giving in a good word about me to her boss. So I was just like, oh, my God, like this is so awesome. So she gave me one of her cards and she told me to email her my resume. I right away the next day, Alvaro, I, I talked to Alvaro and my mom about it and they were just like, you need to get that resume in for her. Show her that you're interested in the job and that you want that job n more than anybody else. So obviously, you know, like I said, um, they wanted to give other people an opportunity to be able, let me off my room because I don't want them to interrupt me, um, to be able to give them the other people an opportunity because her boss wanted to see more people than rather than me of course and they did put a in an ad on craigslist about the job so right after that um that lady went to go um eat at panera bread with her daughter and um she kind of like didn't want no one to know that she was like going over there to let me know that my interview was um which is tomorrow at a certain time and um she called me like the dining people one of the dining girls um from panera she told me hey um this lady wants to talk to you about catering which she didn't have to talk to me about catering she actually wanted to let me know that she's like well hey uh, i just wanted to know how your schedule is on tuesday and um if i can book you for an interview I was just like, what? Already? <laughs> but um, in my eyes, guys, to me, this is a victory because it's an opportunity that God is giving me. And if he closes one door, he right away opens a new one. So if you're losing faith in the fact that, oh my God, I can't handle this job. Of course, there's always going to be drama in every single job that you get. There's always going to be that one. That one that tries to make your life miserable and that tries to make your, your, to quit your job. So my, my lesson here in this beautiful, beautiful um, lesson that God gave me was never lose faith, first of all, which I was already doing, even though I was praying and it happens, it happens. Even though you're in prayer with God, you tend to lose your faith. Because you don't see any action. You don't see anything happen, happening. But how can you say that you can't find another job when you don't even try to look for another job? For me, God has blessed me to the point that he gave me the job in my hands. I didn't even have to look. He, he right away just was like, here, Miriam, here's your job. Everything else is up to you. Like that. And it's just like... It's so amazing to me. So if you're losing faith and just saying, oh my God, I'm giving up. I, I, I just don't know what to do anymore. Don't. Just don't. Because no matter what, he has your back. Even though sometimes we can be bad. We can be rebellious. We don't want anything from him. We just don't want to hear the word of God. We just don't want to go to church and all of that stuff. 
I'm not making this religious, guys. It's just the fact that I want to speak the truth. I want to let you guys know where this job interview that I have tomorrow, where it came from. And I'm being true with you guys. I'm being true because I don't want to hide what I really, truly believe in. So honestly, guys, don't lose faith and go and look for something better. Don't get comfortable in a spot because that's what we tend to do get comfortable get comfortable in something that we already have and we just want to stay there and not get be like not better ourselves so i honestly just feel so blessed because even though right now i haven't got the victory of getting the job it was a privilege to it's a privilege to even just go to my interview and try it because if you don't try what's the point what's the point of you know you praying for something better so i'm gonna try this out like i said um i don't like this lady she can come at you really really strongly um i know there will be a lot of things that you know we can have problems with and everything but i have faith I have faith because God is on my side and I am truly positive about that. So I don't know, guys, I have a good feeling about this. What is my plan for Panera Bread? Um, am I going to quit? Am I going to walk away? Am I going to say deuces? I think that my plan, oh, am I even recording? Yeah, I am. My plan is to give in my two-week notice, of course. I want to come out from Panera Bread good because they did give me a good opportunities and they made me grow um, when it comes down to speaking a little better to customers and just being more friendly, being more um, sociable. So I think that Panera Bread did help me in a lot of ways. But um, to this point right now, I feel like I'm through with it you know but you know you you get to move on that's that's the beauty of life that um you know like you get to experience different jobs and learn from them so um like i said i don't know how this job is going to be i don't know who's that one that's gonna try to make me quit but i do know that something good has to come out of it and if something bad has to come out of it as well then okay well i accept it and um, God never gives you something you can't handle. So one of the things that I wanted to let you guys know as well is that um, I'm not I don't I'm not here to bash Panera Bread. If you're thinking of applying at a Panera Bread at this moment, they're not bad. They're not. It's no, I'm telling you, like Panera Bread gave me a lot of opportunities that I really appreciate with all of my heart. Um, and, you know, some people there just made me learn a lot. Um they made me grow and I don't want to mention names because they should know who they are um, if they to if they, they ever get to watch this vlog. But to this point, um, I'm just fed up with a little drama that's going on at Panera Bread. Um, who does more, who does less. So it's just kind of like I'm just I'm dead, you know. Um, also, it's not even about the whole drama thing. Just about it. Just about the whole drama thing. My bad. Um. It's also about um, the fact that I have to wake up so early. So I'm pretty tired about that. And I don't want to get so old <laughs> so fast because my mom's like, um, you're going to get really old if you keep waking up really, really early for your shift. So um, I'm pretty tired of that, too. I mean, yes, it's really cool waking up at four in the morning, getting off hella early. That's that's awesome. But, um, you know the schedule at this job over here is kind of like eight to five so it's like man the day's gonna go by longer i'm not gonna have time for this this and that but change is good change is always good and uh first of all and then also the other thing that i wanted to mention was um the fact that um i'm also really fed up with the food industry I'm done with it. I want to murder it. Um, the food industry, pretty much I think that all of you guys have worked in the food industry and know that we can be picky because I'm going to count myself too. Let me see if I'm recording. I keep thinking that I'm not recording because I don't know. I'm really bad at this, but um, like I said, 
I want to get out of the food industry because I've been working with the food industry. My first job was food. So kind of like done with food. So I kind of want like a different environment as well. And that's why I'm really, really looking forward for this. Like I said, I really hope that the next part when I'm done with my testimony um, is, hey guys, I already got the job. Hey, hey. but um, for now, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I really want you guys to just go with this journey with me. So that's why I'm recording this part. This part of my anxiousness that I have right now because I'm really, I'm really anxious. I'm really, I have a lot of anxiety right now because just thinking about tomorrow makes me so nervous. Like I'm going to, I'm going to vlog too. watch. I'm going to vlog too when I'm on my way to the interview as well, or while I'm waiting if, cause I'm, I want to go early. I want to be there a little earlier than what it is, but, um, I'm going to vlog that way. I can let you guys know how it's going and everything and the process of the whole experience that I'm having because these kind of things are real guys and they happen and a lot of people tend not to talk about them a lot so i really hope that the next time that you guys see me, the next part is success but it's gonna be the interview day i think i don't know i don't know yet but yeah guys i really hope that you guys come in this journey with me it is um like 1 30 or about to be two and i'm already ready my interview is at 3 30. i'm just right here and i'm having all sorts of feelings right now like my tummy has so many butterflies but i'm hella nervous i am hella nervous i'm hella nervous even though I've talked to um, that lady a lot of times and I've dealt with her a lot of times, but I'm just so nervous. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys have all gotten through this, um, this little experience because it's not easy. It's not easy going in an interview and be all cheery. And <sighs> I am positive though. I am really positive and I do have confidence in myself. It's just that I have so much butterflies in my tummy. Like you guys don't even know and my heart is pounding like a hundred miles per hour. I could only imagine how I'm going to be when I'm almost there. What am I going to say? What am I going to do? Am I going to trip? Am I... Ah. <laughs> But um, I'll tell you guys how the interview went in a little while. I am so nervous, guys. Like, I'm right here at a parking lot that um, I usually wait a little when I'm catering because sometimes, like, I go to the catering so early that people are not ready to take the catering because it's not lunchtime. But I'm right here at this uh, parking lot just waiting for it to be 3.15. I want to be there 15 minutes early. It's 3.03 right now. Guys, oh my god. The anxiety I'm getting right now is out of this world. Um, it's like if I'm about to get on a roller coaster. That's how bad it is. Um, I don't know why. If I've dealt with this customer already. Like, not customer, but this lady already. I don't. I keep calling her lady because I don't want to say her name. Um, oh my god. This journey has been crazy and this is like honestly like to say professional um interviews this has been my second one i'm freaking nervous i'm looking around because people keep looking at me because i'm like you know vlogging and shit but i'm just hella nervous guys i'm hella nervous and i came with a little bit of gas too so i was like freaking out i was like oh my god am i gonna make it with this gas i totally forgot that i had to pump gas and i brought a copy of my resume i don't want to show it but but i brought a copy that always looks good i didn't have a folder so i put it in this clear thing um but yeah i think that's pretty much it 
you guys don't even know <laughs> interview guys and i think overall i did good i think but um man that was intense that was really really intense um they gave me a list of duties that they're looking for and you know i have i have no problem with none of this because i think i've done way more at other jobs but being a receptionist comes with a lot of duties it's not about just sitting behind um, a desk it, be it comes with a lot of responsibilities and i'm i'm willing to do it so they're gonna be giving out calls on monday for whoever they hired because um i wasn't the only one that they were interviewing um they were also interviewing a lot of guys that um are going to be driving the trucks for that company because i can't say the company yet or i can't say it yet guys but um but yeah they were uh interviewing guys too so i was kind of like oh my god so um they're gonna be calling um the people that they're gonna hire that they're they're gonna be hiring on monday <sighs> so i'm just i can't wait i can't wait for monday but um i'm not gonna rush it i'm just gonna kind of like let it flow i already did my part um i'll leave the rest to them but overall i got it over with and the feeling that i was having before um i'm talking to you guys right now oh my god it was horrible like <laughs> I was just feeling so much emotions in my tummy. It was so, so intense. So I really hope that I get the job and <sighs> interview check. Hey guys, I know I look like crap, but um, I got the job. I got the job, guys. I got the job. And I'm shocked. <sighs> oh my god, guys. I honestly really wanted you guys to know this testimony that I had. Because I knew it was from God. I knew it was from God. And I know it was his... Um, I know it was his, his purpose. And um, I got the call this morning. Um, today, November... 15th i got it like around let me check because uh she called me at 9 33 she called me at that time and i couldn't be more happier and i know it's not like a dream job or nothing but i could tell you one thing it's better than panera bread so i'm just like I'm I'm so shook right now guys. I'm so shocked. So I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. I wanted to cry so bad at lunch um cuz I was at lunch when she called me. So I wanted to cry so bad and I know that I'm going to break down right now after this, but I don't want to cry in front of the camera because I think that um but not cry of sadness but cry of happiness because this has been one of my biggest prayer like to get another job something better than panera bread and um like i said it's something that i was really praying about that me and my mom were praying about and it happened so i'm just i'm just really blessed and i really want you guys to take this as a testimony from me because honestly i want you guys to see how much god can bless you if you have faith if you keep your faith if you keep loyal and i am not saying that i'm perfect either because i have failed god in many ways but i honestly feel like glory be to god i don't give myself the glory and because of my interview i don't give myself the glory because i work good or whatever but I give God the glory. All of it. I give him the glory. I give him... I was eating an apple. I, had a, I give him everything, guys. I give him, like, seriously, the props to everything because I know it was him. And um, I don't know. I'm just so, so grateful right now and so happy. My family's so happy for me. <sighs> um alvaro he's just he's so happy for me too because he knows how much i wanted this and i really hope that it works out and for it to be his um for for it to be god's 
will that I'm going to be at this new job. And que sea la voluntad de Dios. Hey guys, so I want to let you guys know a little bit about what happened after my two weeks. Don't want to really get in detail because practically Panera Bread is still part of my life, unfortunately. But um, my two weeks in were given and um, things didn't go as well as I imagined in my head. Of course, the devil will always stand up to kill your success, to kill your new journey, to kill your happiness. And um, <sighs> I went through a lot. Um, and this morning I had such a sleepless night. But um, I know for a fact that at the end of the day, I got my success, my... Um, like, I, I'm not saying that I won. But I'm just saying that I got my success and I'm so happy for that because at the end of the day, I'm the one with the new job. I'm the one that's moving on and I'm leaving things behind me that I should have left a long time ago. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought about this vlog. And um, if you guys have a journey similar or something that you guys are going through, please share. Um, don't be shy. And I will try to comment back and also, you know, just try to help you guys out. Because um, I know I'm not the only the one in the world that's going through something like this. Um, but um, I will explain to you guys what happened um, right after I gave my two weeks in. I love you guys all so much and um, I hope you guys like this video. Mwah.